Hello, welcome back. The title of this lesson is called Multiplying Two and Three Digit Numbers by Two Digits. This is part one. So here we're going back over our skills in multiplication, multiplying digits, uh, numbers with multiple digits here. So let's go into our first problem and start getting our practice here. Let's take a look at the number 36 and we wanna multiply that by the number 91. All right, so how do we do this? Remember, the way we do it is first we pretend the nine isn't even there. The nine isn't even there. We multiply one times six. Multiply one times six and you get a six. And then you multiply after you do this, you multiply one times three and you get a three. Now I want you to notice that I've left a little bit of space between writing the numbers down and that you will understand in just a minute why. Because sometimes when you add the numbers together in a second, you have to carry and so you need to have a little space to carry your one or two or whatever it is. So now that we have multiplied uh, one times six and one times three, we now need to multiply the nine. But before we can do that, we need to drop a zero down here because now we're multiplying, really we're multiplying by nine, but really the value of this nine isn't really a nine, the value is 90. Because this nine is in this position, the value of this is not really nine, it's really 90. So we drop a zero here because we're really multiplying by 90, essentially is what we're doing. That's why we drop the zero in the next level below. So now nine times six is 54 from our multiplication tables. You put the four down here in this column and carry the five to this column. Now nine times three is 27, 27. Then we have to add the five. So going from 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So we have 32, we write the 32 down here. So now we've multiplied everything times the one, we've multiplied everything times the nine, we dropped our zero, and now finally we have to add these numbers together. And you never ever know ahead of time if you're going to have to carry when you do this addition. So we leave a little space just in case. Six plus zero is six. Four going up, five, six, seven. Four plus three is seven. Two plus nothing is two, and three plus nothing is three. So the answer we get is 3,276, and you can circle that as your final answer. So as we go through these problems, they're all gonna be done the same way, right? We're going to just crank through them. We're getting our practice here, reviewing our multiplication skills and sharpening our skills in preparation for the topics to come in a moment. All right, so let's take a look at the next problem. Let's say we're going to do the number 18, and we're gonna multiply that by 47. So again, the first thing you do is you um, basically completely pretend the four isn't there. Seven times eight, eight times seven, 56. So you're gonna put a six here and you have to carry that five to the next column over. All right, again, the four is not there. So one times seven is seven, and then seven plus five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You get a 12 here, so we're gonna put the 12 there. Now we have to multiply by the four, but again, this value of four is really 40 because it's 47. So when we go to the next digit here to multiply, we drop a zero there because we're not multiplying by four, we're really multiplying by 40. So we have to drop that zero in there because of that. So four times eight or eight times four is 32. So we'll put the th uh, two here and we carry the three. Now I'm just gonna put it on top. I could erase the five, but the five was left over from the previous multiplication. We're gonna ignore the five now. We have to do four times one is four. We ignore the five, that was from earlier. So four plus three is seven, so the seven goes here. And now we have to add these numbers together, all right? So we have six plus zero is six, two plus two is four, one plus seven is eight. And that's the final answer, 846. Now again, I left a little bit of space here because you don't know if you're going to have to carry underneath and you wanna have enough space so you're not cluttering your work. You know, half of the challenge of math is just being neat. Just trying to keep everything lined up, don't scribble, don't make it crooked, and then it makes everything so much easier. All right, problem number three. Let's take a look at multiplying 62 and we'll multiply at times uh, 54. What do we do? Well, we start over here, again, pretend the five isn't there. Four times two is eight, and then we have four times six, or six times four, which is 24. So we put that 24 down here. Next, we multiply by the five, but remember, this value of five is really 50, because it's 54, so we drop a single zero here. Five times two is 10. We write the 10 as a zero, carry the one. Five times two is 10, we carry the one. Now, five times six is 30. 
30 plus one is 31. So we put the three there and we, now we have to add uh, 3,100 plus 248. Eight plus zero is eight. Four plus zero is four. One plus two is three. And then the three just is, is goes right here, 3,348. So you see in all of these problems so far, we, when we did the addition, we did not have to do any carrying anywhere. We didn't have to drag any ones across, but we still leave that space because we never know ahead of time. In this next problem, we are going to have to carry a one. And so we'll see how that works out. Let's take a look at 24 and we'll multiply that by 87. 24 times 87. All right, we covered the eight up. Seven times four is 28. So we put an eight, carry a two. We leave a little bit of space here. Next, we have seven times two, that's 14, 15, 16. So we have a 16 and we get 168 there. Now we need to multiply by the eight. So we drop a zero down, because remember this is really worth 80. And then eight times four is a, a 32. So we put a two down here and carry a three. And we just write it on top, but we know that this two was from before. We don't use that anymore. We carried that three. So now it's eight times two is 16, but we add the three, 17, 18, 19. And we put a 19 here. So we have to add these numbers together. All right, eight plus zero is uh, eight. And then we have six plus two is also eight. Nine plus one is 10. So we put a zero and we carry that one to the next column over and now we have one plus one is two. So you see, I left a little space here so that I could carry my one. If I have these numbers right up against the line, then it's really hard to fit anything there. So the answer we get here is 2,088, 2,088. All right, cranking right along here, just getting a little more practice. Let's take a look at a slightly larger problem. What about 372? And we'll multiply that times 46. So this is a three digit number times a two digit number, but really it's the same exact process. Pretend the four isn't there. Six times two is 12. Put the two, carry the one. Next, six times seven or seven times six, 42 plus one is 43. Put a three, carry a four to the next column. Six times three is 18, but we have to add this 19, 20, 21, 22. So we put this 22 here. We kept a little bit of space in between just in case we need it. All right. And now we're done with this multiplication. Now we multiply by four. So we have to drop our zero because we're really multiplying by 40 essentially. Four times two is just an eight. It'll go here. Four times seven uh, is 28. So we have to put an eight here. We multiply four times seven is 28 and we carry that two to the next column. Again, we don't use these numbers anymore because we're now we're using this one. Four times three is 12, but we add this. We do not add this one. 12 plus two, 14. So we put the 14 down here. 14880 plus the 2232. And now we have to add these guys together. So we have two plus zero is two. Eight, then we have nine, 10, 11. So you see we have to put a one and we have to carry one up there. Eight plus two is 10. One more is again 11. So we have to carry another one up here. And then we have four plus two is six. One more is seven. And then we have this one that just comes down here. And so the answer is 17,112, 17,112. And that's why I want you to keep a little space here so you can carry over uh, if you need to. All right, we are at the halfway point. Let's take a look at 33 and we're gonna multiply that by 79. 33 times 79. Same story, we have to multiply by nine. Nine times three, 27. Seven, carry a two. Nine times three, again 27. We have to add 28, 29. So we have 29 right here. Again, we're leaving a little gap here. Now we multiply by the seven, so we drop a zero. Seven times three, 21. Put a one, carry a two up here. Again, seven times three, 21, and we add this, 20 to 23. And now we have to add these numbers together. 297 plus 23, 10. Seven plus zero is seven. Nine plus one is 10, so now we have to carry a one here. Then we have, this makes three. Three plus three is six. And then the two goes here, 2,607. The answer is 2,607.
All right, let's go off to problem number seven. We have uh, 659, and we're going to multiply that by 78. 659 times 78. Cover up the seven here. You have eight times nine, or nine times eight, 72. So we put, keep a little space here, put a two here, carry the seven. Eight times five here, because remember the seven's not there. Eight times five is 40. 40 plus seven is 47, but we have to carry a four. Now we have eight times six, that's 48, 48. And we go up 49, 50, 51, 52. 52 means we put the 52 down here. So now we multiply by the seven, which is really meaning we have to drop a zero because we're really multiplying by 70. So seven times nine, nine times seven is 60. Three. So we put a three here and we carry a six above. Seven times five, 35, but we have to add this. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. 41 means we have to put uh, a one here and we carry a four, okay? And then we say seven times six, six times seven, 42. We add this, 42, we have 43, 44, 45, 46. And then we add this together. 46, 1, 3, 0, 5, 2, 7, 2, and we have to add them. 2 plus 0 is 2. 7 plus 3, 10. We have to carry a 1 now. 2 plus 1 is 3, then we have 4. Now we have 5 plus 6. You know, 5 plus 5 is 10, so 5 plus 6 must be 11. So we have to carry a 1, because 11. And then 4 plus 1 is 5. So we get an answer of 51,400 and two, 51,402. I know it's a pain to do this, but you know, we have to get practice. That's how we get better. All right, next problem. We'll speed up just a touch, 364, and we're gonna multiply that by 82. 364 times 82, what do we do? Multiply by two, two times four is eight. Two times six is 12, carry the one. Two times three is six, plus one is seven. So the first thing we get is 728. Now we multiply by eight, so we drop a zero. Eight times four, 32. Carry, uh, we'll do it up here, carry this three. Eight times six, 48, 49, 50, 51. Carry the five from the 51 over in the next column. Eight times three, 24, add this. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So we have 29. So now we have uh, 29, 1, 2, 0, plus 728. We're going to add these guys together. And we have 8 plus 0 is 8, 2 plus 2 is 4, 7 plus 1 is 8, and then the 9, and then the 2, and we get 29,848. That's the final answer. All right, we only have two more problems, actually. Let's take a look at 26 times 53. 26 times 53. Ignore the five, what is six times three? That's 18, so we put the eight, carry the one. What is three times two? That's six plus one, seven. Now we're done with that, we have to multiply by five, so we drop a zero. Five times six is 30, is a zero, carry a three. Five times two is 10, we add the three, 10 plus three, 13, and now we add these guys together. We have an eight plus zero is eight, seven plus zero is seven, the three and the one just come down and it's 1,378 and that's the final answer. And then we have our very last problem in this lesson, 739 and we're gonna multiply it by 64. All right, by 64. So what do we do? Ignore the six, what is nine times four? That is 36. So we drop a six here, carry a three for 36. What is four times three? That's 12. 13, 14, 15, when we add that, so that's a five, carry a one for 15. Now we have four times seven, that's 28, plus one is 29, so we put that 29 down. Now we're done multiplying by four, now we have to multiply by six, so we drop a zero. Six times nine, or nine times six, 54, so we put a four, we carry a five up above. Six times three is 18, we have to add the five, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Three, carry a two for 23. Now it's six times seven, that's 42. Then we add this, 43, 44. We add the 44. Now we have to add 44, uh, 340, and 2956. And what do we get? Six plus zero is six. 
5 plus 4 we know is 9. 9 going up, 10, 11, 12. We have to now carry a 1 to the next column. Then we have 4, 5, 6, then 7 right here, and then we have a 4. So we have 47,296, and that is the right answer. So in this lesson, we've gotten practice, uh, you know, getting our skills, uh, additional practice in multiplying two and three digit numbers times two digit numbers. So this was part one. We're just kind of getting started again. Follow me on to the next lesson. We'll get a little more practice. We'll be reviewing our multiplication and division skills in preparation for the remaining uh, topics that we have in this course sequence.